So what's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pamela. So if you recall, in our last episode, we were looking at what we think is, or what I think at least, is the promenade. Now I'm not sure if it's the promenade, but it is that shopping mall in the city of Eden. And we started looking at it.、Uh, we kind of went through a few of the stores, and then we went into that augment center, the Genesis. And we decided that we were going to turn that into our headquarters. So that's where we left off, and that's where we're going to start. And I figured that we might as well continue to go down at least the first floor of that shopping mall and see what else is there. So here we are back at the Augment Center again, and I just want to make sure I have all the equipment necessary before I go. Adventuring out there and then meeting whatever zombies that I bump into, I don't want to find out that I'm missing anything. And overall, I think I'm in good shape. I just want to see if I could put away one of my med hypos. I think I got enough of them, so I think I could. Store this one here in case I ever need one for emergency's sake. Okay, so we're ready to go. And if you recall, in the last episode, we were kind of noticing that there's a second floor to this augment center, and we never really looked up there. So I figure maybe here we could take a look at what we have upstairs. Oh. Okay, so this is pretty nice.、Uh, this looks basically like、um, kind of an area that you could actually put a equipment on and make a somewhat of a base. Now there is no door up here, so unfortunately, I'm not sure if I really want to do that. However, if I Do find that、uh, it. I do need to spread out more. Maybe that's one of the places that I could consider. But I think for the moment, I think I'll stay within that cryo center as my main base for the promenade, at least for now. Okay, so let's see what's out here. Ah, good. It's. Morning, but there's a dancing zombie on the roof up there. I'm kind of tempted to leave him or her up there and let it dance, but I'm worried that it's gonna eventually jump down and attack me. So I might as well get rid of it. Okay, so we're in sunlight, and that is a good thing because. Oh, there's another zombie way over there. Yeah, because there aren't as many zombies during the day. As there are at night,、uh, I tend to heal better during the day. Ever since we have that photosynthesis augment, and it's of course a lot easier to see the zombies. There we go. Okay, so let's keep on going. Ah,、uh, good. It looks like there's nobody here. I can never tell. The zombies these days are a little bit smarter, and they seem to sneak up on me every once in a while. But so far, here, I'm hoping I'll be okay. Okay, so last time we kind of looked at the restaurant over on the、uh, left here.、Uh, I think we took a look at the shoe store, although there really isn't much to see in there anyway. Wow, there's a lot of zombies up there. And is that a robot over there? It might be. Fresh. Okay. Well, yeah, it is a robot. Okay, so maybe we could take a quick look in here. We're getting a little bit of lag, but hopefully it won't be too bad. This looks like a fashion area, but they look like they had a closeout sale because there is absolutely no clothing here. But there is a Pamela unit, so maybe we could take a look at、uh, what. She has to say over here. I quadruple check the formula for nutrient allocation and vitamin injections. 
cases continue to climb. Cases, okay. I presume those are talking about the afflicted or whatever was considered uh, the beginning pre afflicted. Yeah, hello there, Mr. Robot. Okay, so. Definitely, Pamela seems to be involved in trying to figure out what the cure is, or at least look into that. I don't know where we went because I have no idea what the timeline of that recording is. Ah, a few zombies out here. Wow, there's quite a few zombies out here. Let me just run back in here again. Until... It gets a little bit more clear outside. I'm not particularly keen on finding out that I'm ganged up on by a lot of zombies. Oh, Mr. Robot's probably behind me because he's scanning me. Wow, it's a little bit hard to see them. It's so bright outside. There we go. Okay, so let's continue on with the exploration of the mall. Uh, the question is, is where do I want to go? And also, are there any zombies nearby? I just want to make sure. I've often been snuck up on recently. Again, the zombies are getting a little bit smarter. And so I just want to make sure that there's no zombies coming up behind me. Whoa, wow, that's an emergency lamp. I could always use those, although I haven't really been using them all that much. Oh, and a javelin. Might as well take that. Okay, so there seems to be some guy over here. I think that's a guy. I don't think that's a dead body. Dead statue. Nope, it's a... It's a, it's a reaper. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, thank you, reaper. Thank you for dying. Um, I always really worry. Although, I think the defense, uh, especially with the augments, this guy has become a lot more resilient. But reapers still scare me a lot. Yeah, I do have enough medi hypos that I should be okay, but like I said, Reapers still scare me a lot. Okay, so we got enough energy again, and let's keep on going. I would like to at least see what we have on the first floor. I wonder how far we go with this. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Whoa! Ah, there. I don't know, maybe my poison uh, darts are stronger, but I've never been able to one-shot one of those guys until now. Uh, maybe I shot him a while back, I don't even remember. Okay, so, what do we have in this bar? This bar looks like the same one that we saw in the Arcadia, the fourth floor of the Arcadia. Nope, okay. So let's take a look around. Yeah, this looks identical. It has the same purple lights and everything. Now I'm getting a little bit of lag, but I'm hoping that it'll be okay. Okay, credits. I could always use credits. Okay, so let's see if we can find a Pamela unit in here. It's definitely getting interesting to figure out what exactly is going on. It's definitely kind of... Uh, uh, Elysium meets uh, Resident Evil sort of uh, situation here. Okay. Take some of those credits. I'm glad I have a lot of those lockpicks. They sure help when uh, the security is a little bit harder than I could handle. Oh uh, no, I don't need that. Nothing in here. Oh, more credits. So far, nothing really too exciting in here. 
And more credits. Okay, so I think we basically have looked around enough here. And... Okay, let me just take a look at this. Oh, what's in here? Oh, red wine. Yep, might as well take that. Okay, so I do see another door here, but what I want to do is to go back through the original door that we came in because I have no idea if there are a lot of zombies when I walk out through a new door. So let me come back here. I know I've cleared most of the zombies over here and I feel a little bit more comfortable coming out from here. Okay. So let's see what else is in the mall. This guy is on a somewhat of a shopping spree. Is there anything back there? Uh, nope, I don't think so. Okay, okay. What else can we find? This guy wants to go shopping and... Garrison, wow! It's not like you have too many malls where heavy artillery is for sale at one of the stores. Well, at least weapons, anyway. So what do we have? What do we have? Maybe we could find something really good here. Oh, locked. Okay, let me just um, bypass it. Good. And what's in here? Whoa! A turret! I could use a turret. I don't particularly use a turret all that much, but I could use a turret. Maybe set up a defense area. Oh, we got a battery backup. Oh, and we have a Pamela unit and a Medi box. Let's see what's in the Medi box. Nothing. Okay, let's listen Nine to Pamela. Are remaining until my scheduled maintenance. 502 people skipped their morning temporal injection, including Jacob. Okay, let me just put one of those service keys in so that we could turn on the battery backup. And let me check here. Okay, so people are starting to not take their temporal injection. I presume that's, again, a beginning signs for this affliction. Ah, tomato in the locker. Sounds very appetizing. Yeah, so you get a little bit at a time uh, the history of what went on during the epidemic through Pamela's eyes, I guess. Okay, so I got enough food and drink. Let me keep on going. We got one turret out, which is uh, very good. And let's see what else we have, what else we can find. Oh, weapons and uh, armor type vending machine. Okay, I don't need anything here. Uh, more, more more items. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Ah, it's medium. Okay, I should be able to open this myself. And good. Let's see what's in here. Ah, nothing I really need. That's okay. It's not like I don't have enough weapons at this time. I just need more upgrade kits is actually what I need. Okay, so let's see what else is around here. Whoa, another Pamela unit. My first communications with citizens are suboptimal. I practice speaking to docked seekers. They make poor audiences. 
So that's interesting. Pamela's trying to physically communicate with people, or at least with seekers, anyway. But、uh, that definitely seems to indicate that she has a body beyond these、uh, electronic things that are stuck into these walls. Let's see what's in here. Anything? Uh, no, I don't need that. Okay, anything else? Oh, milk. Let's take that. Good for the bones. Always good for the bones. Yeah, so Pamela, she seems like a physical entity, and if that's the case, as I said before, I'm hoping that she comes out in the game. Maybe she'll come out later in the game. Is she seems like one of those characters that may not be an、uh, easy、uh, task for the game developers to make. So I don't mind waiting so long as we get to eventually find out who she is. Okay, well that's the garrison, and、um, Let's keep on going. Oh, another lock.、Um, this one, let me bypass.、Uh, nope, I don't need that. Okay, so let's keep on walking through the mall. Well, there's Mr. Robot over there, and it looks like a dead end over here. Let me just make sure of that. Yep. Yeah. So I think we finally reached the end of the、uh, mall for the first floor, at least. We still have the upper floors to explore, but、uh, this was getting pretty interesting. And let me just check here. Nope. I still don't know where this game is really taking us, aside from the standard survival thing. I hope、uh, there's a in-depth story behind it. I mean, the whole premise is pretty cool.、Uh, it's a little bit more than your standard survival horrors indie game, in where you have to just build bases or whatever and just survive. So. I really like this game mostly because of the story that looks. Like, hey, Mr. Robot, where are you walking? You seem to be walking on this.、Uh, what the heck is this? This looks like a little, yeah, fountain water thing.、And、I don't think there's any way to go beyond that point. So let me just leave you there and let me keep on going. Yeah, I mean, there's a seems to be a lot more in-depth story to this one than a lot of survival horror games. So I'm hoping that eventually we'll be able to find out what that is. What's in here?、Uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. How do I? Is there anything I can pick up? Oh, there we go. I don't know what I took. Uh, what is it? I can't see anything of.、Uh, oh, maybe that lens.、Uh, maybe I could get rid of it later. I don't know.、Uh, I don't really need it, but.、Uh, okay, maybe I could put the lens in here. There we go. Okay, so. Keep on going. It's starting to get later on in the day, so I think after exploring the first floor, we may call it quits, and we could go to the higher floors later. Definitely good to just secure this area. This is definitely a beautiful game. That's the other thing I really like about this. The colors are really nice. It's not just the detail, but the Actual colors of this game just pop. Oh, here we go. So, which level are we on? There seems to be a level four that, for some reason, I'm not sure if it's accessible. I think we're on level one. Looking at the、uh, store list of stores, I think we are on level one. 
So definitely uh, we should be able to go to level 2 and 3. And I have no idea if level 4 is accessible, but that might be one of those interesting things to eventually get to. So yeah, definitely a lot more places to explore, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to keep on exploring. There's just so much exploration we can do. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Whoa, what's this? Sorry, I'm just looking around for zombies and making sure everything is okay. What is this? Not the vending machine, of course. I'm just taking a quick look here to see if there's anything I need. Not really. Peace of mind. Oh, this is that temporal place, right? Uh, the only thing is, is I don't know if I could get in here. Well, at least let's listen to Pamela. And Emma fought today. Their voices were well over normal, and I asked them multiple times to exercise courtesy. Okay, not quite sure what to make of that one. Okay, so Jacob and Emma wasn't getting along. Maybe there's some tension that's growing ever since the epidemic broke out. I'm not sure. Definitely don't see either Jacob or Emma. And definitely don't see that Seeker 12, which sounds like eventually it just uh, maybe passed away, got destroyed. I don't know how do you call it with regards to the robots. And... Uh, haven't seen the deep frame or REM, so there's definitely still a lot of questions out there. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of these guys. Okay. Good. Good. Sorry, just got to take care of the riffraff up here. And there, that's better. Looks like yet another store. Not sure if there's anything really good to look at here. Ah, more locks. There's a lot of... Oh, this is an easy one. Let's see. The last time it was so slow that I couldn't open the lock because I was so used to faster ones. But uh, I'm st starting to get a feel for the easy ones again. So that's good. Okay, so nothing there except fertilizer. I don't need fertilizer. I got so much food. Uh, from these zombies, I don't really need to uh, harvest anything anymore. Oh, don't need a sizzle. Okay, let's keep on going. Morphine. No, I don't think I need that. I got my bone uh, enhancement augmentation and I have a lot of bone mending kits. So I don't think I need a painkiller right the moment okay so let's see what else what else uh, water cup I don't think I need that what else here oh I'll take the uh, credits there we go definitely a lot of places to explore at the moment I just gotta figure out what I want to uh, do where I want to go where do I want to go Okay, not really sure. I'm just going to keep on going down this way. Ah! Not a good sound. Where is it? There's a reaper around here somewhere. I hope it's not on this floor. Maybe I'll just uh, step in here. Uh, do I see anybody? Not really. Okay, well, hopefully there is no Reaper nearby. I can't see anybody. And I think I missed this store here, so let me just take a look at it. Edge! I don't know what this place is. Oh, what is this place? This place looks pretty interesting. Oh, 
Lemon candy. Everybody seems to have a lot of lemon candy today. Oh, is that another Pamela unit over there? Yep. Okay, let's take a look at it. Twelve said my avatar looked nothing like me. I asked him what he meant, but he had no response. Well, that's interesting. I don't know what Twelve meant by that either. Uh, what did she mean by it doesn't look like her? Whoa! What? What the heck happened? I didn't even uh, try to pick it. I just used my uh, override keys and it still caught me. Oh, that's not good. That means that the robots may be coming after me. Oh, that's not good. I don't want robots coming after me. Oh, maybe I should have stayed in the containment field, but I think then they throw me in jail or something like that, which might be have been okay. I could have kind of uh, tried to figure out how to get out from there, but uh, let me see. This is not good. This is not good. I don't see any robots, so let me get out of here. And I think I definitely want to uh, call it quits if possible, and maybe... The robots will not go after me. I think there is a... Uh... Oh, that's not good. This guy's uh, flashing yellow warning. Is that because of me? Yeah! Oh, wow. Am I in trouble? I may be in trouble. This is not good. This is not good. Well, uh, what should I do? Oh, there's some zombie out there. Get rid of that guy. Heck, I helped you guys, uh, robots out quite a bit by uh, killing... Uh, oh, I don't need a garden. I definitely don't need a garden. Uh, especially not this one. This one doesn't even have a light to uh, grow the vegetables. Okay, so yeah, I'm hoping that you will forget. I don't know how this works. This is the first time I've uh, really got caught. So I am not sure. Let's take a look at this guy again and see if he will sound the alarm one more time. Oh, well, you didn't even scam me this time. I have no idea. Oh, maybe I'm okay. I'm not sure. Let me follow this guy and see if he will scam me. There you go. Come on. Oh, what's your problem? Wow, typically you just scam me all the time and now you just don't even seem to want to bother. So, well, okay. I'm just going to take that as maybe you're okay with the what happened up there. And I'll try to figure out whether the police are after me in the next episode. So anyway, I think I'll call it quits at this point. Thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope you continue to join us in this Pamela adventure. Uh, it's always a pleasure to make these videos for you. If you have any comments, please post them in the comments section below. If you're playing Pamela, uh, I would like to hear from you. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll continue on with more Pamela videos in the future. Until the next time, thank you very much. We wish you all the best. And as always... Jaya nice day everyone.